more good news this week as Jeremy says we're all gonna have to pay more tax. Yay. There will be tax. I ain't drink it up! Despite our skyrocketing energy bills and people struggling to put food on the table as we head into Christmas, as we are knee deep in recession filth, it seems that, according to the Conservatives, we're all going to have to suck it up and foot the bill. You know, except the people who can actually afford it. The 177 billionaires currently living in the UK, six of whom were added in the last year. President Sunak has said that the wealthy will also have to pay some tax. But allow me to demonstrate why in the conservative way, it's bullsh**. Okay, so here is your average, ordinary, working class UK citizen. 14.5 million currently living in poverty, who can barely get by day to day. And here is Rishi Sunak and Akshata Murthy, whose combined wealth is 730 million pounds. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. There we go. Okay. All right then, okay, here we go. All right, there we go, that's a lot. It's a, go on then, one more, all right then, okay then. Uh, you talked me into it. Okay, seems about fair. Let's hit them with some fuel prices. Maybe a little bit of inflation, some rising food costs. There we go, and uh, I guess, well, you know, they've got more expensive tastes, I guess, so let's take a couple more there. Yeah, I bet that's a, a bit... Now let's tax them! Okay, here we go. All right, gonna take a nice slice of tax from you there. Thank you very much for your contribution. I know you haven't got a lot left, but, uh, you know, thank you for helping fix the economy that the Conservatives broke. We're gonna take a little bit more from you, uh, Rishi and Akshata, here we go. So, uh, there we go, thank you very much. For that, uh, you know, you know, you got more money, so you know you can afford it. I bet that's a bit more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's tax them some more. Uh, let's just take the whole pile, shall we? Here we go. Uh, there we go. Take that, and then also, uh, sorry about this. Uh, we're going to take uh, a couple more for good measure. There we go, uh, man, like that. I bet you that's uh, that's made a bit of a dent. But, uh, seems fair. By the way, this is not to scale. If you wanted to make it more the ratio, I'd need a lot more poker chips. My point here is, if the friggin' is one, a very not well thought out one, is that the general public, whether they are filthy rich or dirt poor, are both being lumped with the responsibility for bailing out this economic catastrophe. Now, I don't have a problem with people being rich. No, wait, no, no, I, no, I really do. When you're talking about the combined billionaire wealth of 653 billion pounds. Yes, I have a massive f problem with that. Well, I've got a better plan. Take the people who have nothing, who are miserable and living in destitution, unsure of whether they will survive this winter. Take those people and leave them alone. And these rich f take whatever you need from them. Now wait, for all those billionaire sympathizers out there. Also, what? I'm not talking about taking all of it and leaving them on the poverty line themselves. Although, if it was James Dyson, <laughs> call it a generosity tax. Of that combined 653 billion pounds, take like a hundred billion. They're not gonna miss, they're not even gonna know it's gone. But let me shower you all with a terribly unpopular opinion. If you have just one person in poverty in the fifth richest country in the world, something is very wrong. Not one single person in the UK should have to choose between feeding their family or heating their home. And yet the answer here from the Conservatives is once again, cat, 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 but there's nothing left to take. Also, just like purely as a business model, I just, 
I don't, I don't get it, I don't get it. Because in a money-centric economy, you rely on people, ordinary working class people, to like, buy stuff. To contribute to the economy, funnel money into it, makes the cogs go, money moves up, gets redistributed into fair pay and whatnot. Or does it? No! If people have no money to spend on stuff, then surely they won't buy stuff. I mean, if you're gonna do capitalism, just like understand how it works. Also, I haven't even included UK millionaires in this scenario. 2.5 million millionaires in the UK. On top of this, HMRC have basically admitted that they have no idea how much tax is being evaded through offshore assets. But the 570 billion pounds of UK residents' financials are currently sitting pretty in tax havens abroad. Oi! What are you doing over there? Get, get back over here! Get over here so you can help people! You just, come on, just get over! Come on! Get back over! Come on! Our beloved Rishi Sunak's family are number 222 on the UK's rich list. 222 out of 67 million people. Yet yeah, he's the one telling us that we have to tighten our belts. That we need to be the ones who sacrifice the little we have left. But the problem is, the rich are worth more to Rishi Sunak than the poor. I have friends who are aristocrats, I have friends who are upper class, I have friends who are, you know, working class, but I'm not working class. The richest in this country have increased their wealth in the last year alone by 55 billion pounds. Whilst the rest of us struggle to survive. F*** you, Rishi Sunak! you very much. Where's that general strike at? I want my general strike! Come on, you can do it! Come on, God! Ah.